Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about no skill developers who promote themselves as seniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was Hi Frederick, what do you think about newbies that just learned for six months and all of a sudden they title themselves as tech twitterers? Or senior developers, I suppose. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I've never heard the term tech twitters or whatever that's it, that is. But uh, people who promote themselves as being better than they are after six months, absolutely. Uh, I remember going to school with this guy who... Uh, <coughs> yeah, he became a senior software developer after nine months in the industry. That's amazing because uh, last I saw him he could not produce an Android application to save his life. But he became a senior Android developer in nine months or six months or something like that. So I was very impressed. He must have had some amazing mentors when I wasn't looking. Uh, but uh, the way that I see it is that uh, talk is cheap and like I said to my old boss, who, uh, as I like to say, the, uh, we used to work for a startup where the the way we they did business was uh, through building air castles. As I, well, I'm not sure if that's a Swedish saying or not, but basically what an air castle is that you talk more than you deliver, and see that's the beautiful part about talking. It works. That's why we have marketing and sales and all this good stuff. Uh, and it usually also primarily work on uh, ignorant people. And in IT, we, ha we have so many ignorant people. So many incompetent people. Uh, because it's a very fresh field. Uh, it's not really mature at this point. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of people who have no technical skills whatsoever in it which means that it's actually not that hard if you have a bit of charisma and a, well, a silver tongue to get through in IT because there's a lot of very really big companies with a lot of money and not that much in terms of brains uh, who will invest in every startup that you can imagine or every business idea you can imagine if you just talk enough and say the right things. And so building an air castle isn't all that hard. You just have to talk as if you know what you're uh, doing. Uh, but the thing about that, which is the thing that I told the subscriber, is that that only works for so long. Uh, because at the end of the day, just as with politicians or whoever is uh, talking, if you promise a lot of stuff, people might believe you to start off with but sooner or later you're gonna have to deliver and when you can't deliver people are gonna start listening and they're gonna be disappointed uh, because you can't talk your way out of everything you have to at some point be able to walk the walk as well uh, luckily IT has probably more than on average than any other field I know of very good talented people who are actually giving away all their knowledge and tips and tricks for free basically uh, and they really know their stuff so I mean the truth is out there uh, it's just not as loud and talkative as the people who know fuck all about anything and uh, are really only doing these YouTube channels and blogs and all this stuff uh, to make money uh, and so this subscriber replies and says exactly it seems very rare to find a person who knows deeply what they're doing and and a short story that I encountered yesterday in Twitter there is a person who just learned about the file system in Node and then he entitles himself as a full stack software developer he is getting tons of attention and likes etc etc uh, yeah that's well if he wants to be a full stack software developer that's fine I mean uh, I remember when I took my first Python course and I've ne I'd never done any software development in my life and I was kinda telling myself that I'm a computer scientist now uh, 
so I'll tell you a story from my own work uh, that uh, happened not that long ago. I was interviewing a candidate for a position at my company together with another coworker because we usually do these sorts of things in pairs, right? And this candidate was applying to be a senior software developer. Now this person was vastly underqualified, like hilariously underqualified. Uh, he was uh, his knowledge gaps were so massive that I cannot imagine how anybody would hire him if they talked to him for five even for five minutes. We could hear that he basically doesn't know what an HTTP call is. So uh, we ended the well we do, did the interview and afterwards my coworker he was very frustrated and he started going on and on and on about how incompetent this person was and doesn't even know what IT is about etc etc our time has been wasted and uh, so forth and so forth and so I replied to him and I said basically well you have to remember that there are no rules for who can call themselves a senior software developer so how can you blame him for not knowing what your definition is of a senior software developer? Because for all you know, he's been actually working in, he might have been working in a region of the world where the bar is lower. He could have been working in a company where the bar is lower. Like, um, you don't actually know where he is. I mean, guys, I've been to companies where the only thing they cared about was if I knew Bootstrap and some jQuery because almost all their projects were these low end uh, like uh, projects where the, it wasn't really at the sort of level that you might expect for from the more serious IT companies it was small firms and other companies who did simple that who had simple needs right and this uh, this it was a consultancy they had grown pretty big on these sorts of projects and I mean they had other businesses as well but their IT department was do like they were doing the simplest thing in the world and so uh, I told my coworker that you can't really like it's I mean I of course uh, if you have a good and deep understanding of what's so mainstream and kind of well not bleeding edge but mainstream software development today looks like in at least in the web you sort of know what tools are relevant but if you don't if this is just a job for you and you have spent most of your time working in in, com in companies where they as i said they don't really hold like they don't they're not at the top brass or like even in the middle they might be on the low end of things then how would you know that you're not a senior software developer it's food for thought. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't really form an opinion on people who think that they are better than they are, or people who have this idea that uh, you know you're six months into your career and now you're like a guru or something like that. Uh, I talked to some. I've talked to some people like that, and I just don't feel anything. I mean, it's. Uh, because uh, it's what is the saying don't argue with stupid people because they will uh, beat you with experience and it's well it's not even about stupidity it's basic ignorance as I like to say it because nobody in their right mind would uh, call themselves an expert uh, if they were genuine about it if they knew any better uh, it's um, there's a saying that I actually made up on the spot uh, well, so there's not to say. Well, there's a saying now. If one has lived one's life in a pond, one might think oneself brave for reaching the bottom, until one meets someone who has swam in the ocean. And that's exactly the problem. Your Twitter person, or like, you know, and all the people who are showing that person admiration. It's uh, it's uh, fool fool leading fools. That's a sweet uh, one of our sayings here in Sweden as well. Uh, or the blind leading the blind uh, that's what's going on there uh, and it's no like the phenomenon that you're watching it's no different from how celebrities who have half a brain are inspiring people uh, through their music into political action or becoming flat earthers or whatever uh, guys there will always be people who are less informed 
who are going to think that they are smarter than they are and there are always going to be people who look up to those people if they just make a little bit of noise and have a slight touch of charisma. Have a great day.